Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over how to use Copilot, which is an AI tool, to invoke a flow. So this is going to be a little bit complex. You do need to have a generative AI trailhead org, or you could do this in your own org. Just make sure that you are testing it properly before you actually use it. But this is how to invoke a flow. So a few things that we need to check first. So I want to go to orders here, and then I also want to go into setup. So I want to make sure that we've got some open orders here because the flow that we will be enacting is like starting a return process. So let's go to flows. Okay, let's see what it is. Go return, return item flow. Okay, so this is the one that we will be wanting to work on. Let's go check this flow out a little bit or wanting to invoke. Just want to make sure that it was here and that it is. Okay, let's make sure. that it looks like it is on the, so this is working off of the orders object. So let's go ahead and just jump in and make sure that we have um, an order here that, there we go, is activated. So we'll probably be working to return this order. Let's go ahead and jump into Copilot. You do need to activate Copilot before you go ahead and use it, which is super simple. So you would just go here and toggle this on. You might need to refresh it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go find Copilot. Pilot actions. All right, then we're gonna do new Copilot action. So from here, we can either invoke Apex, Flow, or Prompt Template, but we're gonna do a flow here, and then we're gonna go with Initiate Return. So let's go ahead and click Next here. So now we're just gonna tell it we're gonna use the Flow Initiate Returns to start the return process. Let's go ahead and enter in instructions for our input and output. And I'm gonna say populate this input variable with a record ID. All right, let's go ahead and require input and collect data from user. Now let's go ahead and do the output, which is what we're going to see afterwards. I'm gonna say this output indicates the status of the return process. All right, let's go ahead, show in conversation. So it'll show in your co-pilot conversation and we'll go through this and test this out. Now that it's saved, let's go back into Einstein Copilots and launch here, open in builder. Let's go ahead and deactivate this. All right, click OK. And then we're going to add this assigned to Copilot. All right, let's go ahead and refresh. All right, and then activate. Go ahead and exit out of here. All right, let's refresh the page and then we should have Einstein here. Let's go ahead and say, what is the record with the most recent order start date? So it's gonna analyze, and I'm not gonna edit this down so you can see how long this takes in real time, depending on your system, it might take a little bit longer. All right, so it has popped up that order, which is actually the order we have here. So if we wanted to go into it, it will click on it. So it will link it. Let's go ahead and say, start the return process for order. All right, I'm gonna grab this real quick, copy and paste that order number here. All right, and click that. All right, it's gonna analyze my request. Again, I'm gonna try not to edit this down so then you can see how long it is, but it has started to invoke that flow of the return process. Now, there are gonna be probably other steps that you'll need to add when you're going through that flow process, but that can make the return process really, really quick for your customer service 
reps to say, oh, sorry about that. Now we found your order. Let's go ahead and start that return process. Bam. It took like, I don't know how many seconds. It took like less than a minute to start that process and get going with it, which can save your your customers a lot of time and headache and increase brand loyalty. It can also help with making your customer service agents more effective by using this AI. Now, be sure to show them how to use it and create different help articles or videos to show them how to use it so then they can do that and it will increase their productivity. But with that, thank you for joining me today. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. You can check out the courses down below at salesforceupskill.com. Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one.